stretching between the Yongding Gate in the south of the city and the Drum Tower and Bell Tower in the north. The 7.8-kilometer-long Beijing Central Axis, also known as the Chinese capital's backbone, is of global fame. From the surrounding areas of the Forbidden City to the nearby communities, many time-honored brands whose food are intangible cultural heritage are located along this axis. Let's get on a gourmet tour of the Central Axis. When it comes to Beijing cuisine, roast duck is one signature food, Quanju roast duck, as one of the time-honored brands on the bustling Qianmen Street, was introduced to the public from the Forbidden City during the Qing Dynasty, 1644 to 1911. Thanks to the persistent practices of generations of roast duck masters, the century-old hanging style duck roasting techniques have passed on to the present. It includes four major steps of initial treatment, preserving, roasting and slicing, and more than 30 links. Only going through such a sophisticated process can the best greasy feel be created in the roast duck. After enjoying the famous roast duck, let's try Xiaomei, a traditional steamed pastry in Beijing. This is the signboard given by China's Qing Dynasty Emperor Qianlong. 1736 to 1795, and it's called Du Yi Chu. Du Yi Chi's Xiaomei production skills have been listed as a national intangible cultural heritage. Every Xiaomei has 24 wrinkles on it, a compulsory set pattern, symbolizing the 24 solar terms in Chinese culture. The shaped Xiaomei has fresh fillings out of the seal, resembling a bud ready to bloom which is quite an awe-inspiring technique. Food aside, let's talk about drinks. Chinese tea has a long history as a world intangible cultural heritage. Laoshi Tea House is named after Laoshi, a great Chinese cultural master. It has developed from a street stall offering big bowls of tea, each costing only 0.02 yuan to a traditional Beijing compound tea house, offering tea banquet once exclusive in the Imperial Palace, and then to a Beijing-style cultural center integrating Peking opera, other opera, puppet show, and other cultural performances. With the advancement of the times, the intangible cultural heritage food along the central axis is also innovating while preserving their traditions. The roast duck has made its way into pastry, which presents the traditional eating method of roast duck by cakes creating an impressive afternoon tea time featuring central axis delicacies. Traditional Xiaomei extends from a single color delicacy to one with various forms such as showcasing the features of four seasons and the five colors of the Olympic rings, making an ordinary food stand out. The central axis, covering the forbidden city and the public communities and lasting till today, is brimming with growing vitality. A series of intangible cultural heritage delicacies offers not only a taste of the past, but also a flavor of development. Whether it's a cultural continuation remaining unchanged in the past and the present, or it's a cultural enrichment to the traditions by using modern means, what keeps these intangible cultural heritage delicacies enduring is their cultural value.